my name is Ali Bolden and this is my analysis of the front cover, contents page and double page spread on the music magazine for my A-Level Media Foundation portfolio. I decided to analyse Kerrang as I knew Kerrang was the kind of genre of magazine I was going to do, so I thought it'd be relevant to analyse this magazine. So I analysed a front cover, contents page and double page spread from Kerrang. So looking at the front cover, first of all, everything everyone notices and comments on is the masthead. So here it is Kerrang. The masthead for this cover of Kerrang, it's bold and it layers over the top of the subject of the magazine itself. Um, the colour of the masthead is pink, which makes it stand out well against the rest of the magazine. It's quite controversial. You wouldn't expect pink in a rock magazine because it's quite feminine colour and rock's more masculine. So it's got quite a bit of juxtaposition there, which also appeals to its female readers and shows that Kerrang can be diverse. The main image. So for the main image, as you can see, it's post photography. It's been set up. It's been planned and timed. And it's of an artist that is associated with this genre. It's not just a random model or from a pop band, etc. Um, so it fits in with the magazine. They've also used an artist who is famous. Pretty much every rock person knows who Andy BSR or Andy Black is. And they've used someone who's physically attractive. So it could appeal to people as a sex symbol or it could appeal to people. They want to look like him. They're in a self. And the image also has a direct gaze with the audience, which makes it more personal. So next is the main cover line, which is obviously to do with whoever's posed on the front of the magazine. So here, Andy Black, true confessions of a rock icon. It's striking, the text is bold, and the statement itself is bold. It makes you want to read it. It pulls the readers in. If it doesn't pull the reader in with the main cover line, they're not going to want to buy it. The other cover lines on the magazine, Kerrang Awards, Prince, How He Changed Music Forever, the best rock movies ever. They are all very catchy, very striking sentences that will entice the audience straight away. The bold, they're in white against black, so it stands out. Sub images next. So here you've got your classic Kerrang sub images. It's a poster, it's a giveaway, it's another way of enticing the audience, and it's another way of showing who's in it. And it's another way of demonstrating what type of genre they are by using people from rock. It will make them want to buy it if they know they're going to get free stuff within it. So here, posters. Lastly is the barcode. So on this magazine cover, there's your classic barcode. But it also features the masthead but smaller. It tells you the issue number, the date. It gives you the price. And it gives you the Australian price, depending on where you are. But it also gives you the website, which is allowing multi-platform media. It's promoting their magazine further, and it's appealing to the younger audience who go online often. Next is the contents page. So for the main image, again, they've used someone who fits the rock genre. So here we can see he's got a beard, he's got quite long hair, he's got obscure clothing. It looks kind of stern. So this will influence them and show them what they are about. Table of contents themselves, it's black, white and yellow. Quite simple colour scheme, but also quite rock, quite masculine, quite bold and daring. And it's set out on the right third of the magazine. So it allows for quite a bit of text on the contents, but also allows for a lot of pictures, which would more entice the audience as they don't want to do a lot of reading. And along with the table of contents is an editor's note, which also makes it feel a lot more personal, as if the editor themselves has took time to write to each individual reader. Next are the banners, which can be seen all across the magazine, not just the contents page, but it makes it more striking, it explains what the pictures are about, what's in this magazine, here are the most important things, read this, read that, read this. They can be used to promote extra information and news, so here, killer posters, it's telling the reader we've got posters, buy our magazine. Um, 
they use to advertise, they use to show what's in the article, it's used to show what's new and upcoming. The headings themselves, all throughout the magazine, the big, the bold, the block capital, they're in simple, striking colours, and it fits a colour scheme throughout. So you've got the yellow, black and white, and then you've got the yellow and black border. It's all about consistency. Um, they've been incorporated into banners, so it links with what's above. It's this idea of it's striking, it's new, you should buy it, you should read it, look at us. But next is the double page spread. So the headline here, it's songs that save my life, so it's really, really impactful on the audience. Saving someone's life. These songs are that good, they saved this person's life. They've also used like symbolism and iconography with the like heart rate monitor effect that flows through it. Just to link more back to this idea of maybe medicine and life saving and health. And this use of language also makes the reader feel like a personal connection with their artist. They're finding out about their life, how they were saved. The deck underneath your headline, it's really there just to give more information about what the article is about but this is usually something striking something bold or controversial to grab the reader's attention it explains who it's about what it's about why they're talking about it pull quotes are so often used on double page spreads it's just a way of showing a snippet of text maybe something the person that's being interviewed said or a certain opinion on this person and it's usually, again, something different, bold, striking, controversial. So here, we listen to a lot of country in As It Is, which is something so unusual for a rock band. So they've put in a pull quote. Maybe it'll entice people that listen to country that didn't know that you could listen to rock and country. Um, this is also in much bigger letters, different size font, it's bolder, it's in capitals. Again, to grab the reader's attention like everything else. And the body copy, it's a traditional three column article on both your left page and right page, or verso page and recto page. And it's split into three basically. It chunks it down with headings as well and subheadings to make it a lot more easier. There's also pictures and captions just to make it more readable and more interesting. And you've also got your colour theme, your house style here is greens and whites. And on a black background again to make it stand out body copy it provides the personal information about the article this is where you'll get all your content from